guys, welcome to another episode of Tired Axe Outdoors. Today, we are going to be talking about getting your boat ready after you've been out and before you go out. So, uh, just gonna go over some of the basics, you know, cleaning up the boat, getting your lines out, uh, you know, making sure that you don't have any damage or anything, you know, big messes. You know, I brought my boys out the last video and, uh, you know, there's cereal and crackers and cookies and you guys know what uh, that's about if you bring kids out fishing. But uh, yeah, so basically what I do is I, I, you know, get the boat uncovered, you know, pull out the life jackets, I check them out, you know, make sure all the, sna the, the snaps are good, the straps are good, get those ready to go. Uh, this time I actually mounted my battery box. So I got that going up front, moved some of our rope cleats and uh, anchor lines are out here. So we're gonna get, you know, this is what they look like after the trip. So we're gonna go ahead and get those cleaned up and put back into the dry bag that we have them in. Um, our dock lines, we've got, this is our dock line line we used to launch the boat. So we get that rolled up nice and neat and that'll go back up under the deck where it goes. But uh, like I said, you know, overall the big thing is you're making sure that this stuff's ready to go so that when you do get out on the water, you don't have issues or messes or things you have to deal with. Um, in the back of the boat, you know, grab the shop bag, start cleaning that up, make sure that uh, your straps are good. You know, and I always do this uh, at the same time, but I'll, you know, look over the, the trailer itself, make sure you don't have any bad wires, check for, you know, missing lug nuts, just random things that, uh, that can go wrong going to and from the lake. So, all right, so another thing to check is, uh, you know, come to the back of the boat, and I always check my, my bolts on the outboard itself and on the trolling motor. Make sure that everything's still nice and tight, nothing vibrated loose going on the road. You know, I've got my plug attached right here, just with a thin piece of aircraft cable and it's screwed right down to the side of the hull. So this plug won't ever go anywhere and uh, I won't ever forget to bring it. So that's attached, you know, I check that out, make sure that that's in good condition. I got my bailing sponge, just in case we do take on water, we need to bail some water out. I do have that in the boat. Um, once again, trolling motor, check those mounts, make sure everything's good there. You know, look at your wiring. Just like I said, it's the, the basics, but these are the things that can completely sink, literally, your uh, your fishing trip. So you wanna avoid that if possible. Um, I'm gonna recruit my boys and have them come do some uh, vacuuming since their mess is what we're cleaning up for the most part. And uh, we'll uh, cut to a time lapse of that. So one other thing that we're adding is uh, is a power pole, manual power pole. Uh, so a stakeout pole, you know, I was looking online and there's a lot out there, but you know, they're quite expensive, but there's a lot of DIY stuff that uh, guys are just using fiberglass poles. So I went ahead and picked this up, it's an eight foot pole. I've got a, a brass ring that I'm gonna attach to it so that it can slide up and down. And uh, that's just gonna tie to a cleat in the back of the boat. Uh, obviously not for windy days, but uh, shallow water, calm days you'll be able to stake out your boat kayak uh, a lot of guys use these on those as well so got that in the in the works uh, once that's done I'll show you guys that uh, one other thing I mentioned earlier that we can do is you know go through our rope our anchor lines make sure that we don't have any issues so on this anchor line right here it's woven and, and, and attached right there for that loop so make sure check that out make sure you don't have any damage make sure that uh, you know it's attached to the anchor. There was a time I was fishing out of a, my kayak years ago and uh, this part of the rope right here came undone and I went to go throw my anchor out and it came disconnected and the anchor was gone. So it was a brand new collapsible kayak anchor. But uh, yeah, like I said, I like to run through my rope and just kind of make sure there's no, no issues and then once again, get that put back in the bag. So this is pretty, pretty new line here so it's, in pretty good shape, but it's always good to all double right guys, check. So we got the boat all vacuumed out, had the help of my littlest for that, which was awesome. Um, once again, we checked ropes, got all that done. So now we're just gonna go ahead and get everything put back away. Um, as always, I appreciate you guys watching and following along with us. 
Uh, make sure you check us out on Instagram at Tired Axe Outdoors. That's behind the scenes, extra stuff. Uh, and then, you know, if you haven't subscribed, make sure you do that. Turn on notifications. Don't miss anything. So we've got some fun stuff coming up, and uh, we're really excited to share that with you guys. Uh, other than that, we will talk to you guys next time.